Hi everybody, I'm Northern Hero and welcome again to Bible Reading Time. And it is Romans 2. Um, New American Standard Bible. N-A-S-B. And I thought it'd be good to um, put the American accent on. So if you don't like it, you can lamp it. But um, I thought it'd be something a bit different. So here we go. Romans 2. Therefore you have no excuse, you foolish person, every one of you who passes judgment. For in that matter in which you judge someone else, you condemn yourself. For you who judge practice the same things and we know that the judgment of God rightly falls upon those who practice such things but do you suppose this you foolish person who passes judgment on those who practice such things and yet does them as well that you will escape the judgment of God or do you think lightly of the riches of his kindness and restraint and patience not knowing that the kindness of God leads you to repentance but because of your stubbornness and unrepentant heart you are stirring up wrath for yourself on the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God who will repay each person according to his deeds. To those who by perseverance in doing good seek glory, honour and immortality, he will give eternal life. But to those who are self-serving and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, they will give wrath and indignation they will be tribulation and distress for every soul of mankind who does evil for the jew first and also for the greek but glory honor and peace to everyone who does what is good to the jew first and also to the greek for there is no partiality with God for all who have sinned without the law will also perish without the law and all who have sinned under the law will be judged by the law for it is not the hearers of the law um, who are righteous before God but the doers of the law who will be justified for when Gentiles do not have the law instinctively perform the requirements of the law these though not having the law are a law to themselves in that they show the work of the law written in their hearts their conscience testifying and their thoughts alternative, alternatively, alternatively accusing or else defending them on the day when according to my gospel God will judge the secrets of mankind through Christ Jesus but if you call yourself a Jew and relay upon the law and boast in God and know his will and distinguish the things that matter being instructed from the law and are confident that you yourself are a guide to people who are blind a light to those in darkness a corrector of the foolish a teacher the immature possessing in the law the embodiment of knowledge and other truth you therefore who teach someone else do you not teach yourself 
You who preach that one is not to steal, do you steal? You who say that one is not to commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You who love idols, do you rob temples? You who boast in the law, through your breaking the law, do you dishonor God? For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you, just as it is written. For indeed, circumcision is of value if you practice the law, but if you are a violator of the law, your circumcision has turned into uncircumcision. For if the uncircumcised man keeps the requirements of the law, will his uncircumcision not be regarded as uns as circumcision and he who is physically uncircumcised if he keeps the law will he not judge you who though having the letter of the law and circumcision are a violator of the law for he is not a jew who hears one outwardly nor is circumcision that which is outward in the flesh but he is a Jew who is one inwardly and circumcision is of the heart by the spirit, not by the letter. And his praise is not from the people, but from God. I'm Northern Hero and I will see you again for more Bible reading time. God bless.